Hello, in this video you are going to learn, how to create and customize a new form for this list, and add some branding, to look and feel more friendly and relative to our theme. We create this list in detail in the previous tutorial, you can find it listed in the description below. As we see, if we want to add a new item to this list, we will see the default display form in SharePoint. We see all the columns or the fields that we have in the list. If we want to customize this form within SharePoint, all you can do is change the order of the fields or hide some of them. But what if you want to create a brand modern form, for your list like this one? To have a real control to all the fields in your list, and display them in the way you want, and be responsive to all devices. To apply calculation on them, or to show or hide section. Adding header and footer images, and colors, attachments, collect signatures and much more. You need a special tool like Spark Forms Builder. Spark Forms Builder is a very user-friendly, special tool to create and customize forms in SharePoint. Spark Forms has many advanced features that are not found in SharePoint Designer nor many other tools. And also you don't need to write any code while creating the form as you will see in this tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to create this form within 10 minutes. As we said before, Spark Forms gives you the ability to create many interactive forms, such as complex forms with repeater, and calculation, as we see here. Or simple internal forms integrated with workflow, to send reminder notifications or emails, and develop a nice nested repeater like this. You can also divide your long form using the tabs, like this form. You can also create multi-view or multi-language forms. Spark is fully integrated, with external data sources. You can retrieve the data, in data table in your form. With Spark Forms, you can also create online SharePoint Forms Anonymous Forms to be used on your public website, by external users, or anonymous users. All forms you create using Spark will be responsive on all devices. If you are interested in more details, about how to create anonymous or responsive forms, or how to use any control from what I had mentioned. You'll find all the related tutorials written down in the description. Now let's get back to our list, and learn how to create leave request form. As you see here in our list, there is a link to Spark Forms Builder. You will find this link in every single list or library on your SharePoint. So, from here, the form that we are going to be created is linked to the list without any configuration from our side. Click on Spark Forms Builder. As you see here, the Form Designer workspace contains four main areas. The Form Toolbox, the Canvas, the Properties Panel, and the Top Ribbon. The Form Toolbox displays the controls that you can add to your form. The Form Toolbox contains General Controls, Input controls Container controls Integration controls Advanced controls Spark workflow controls List columns and functions controls. We can simply drag and drop them into the form design workspace, to be in our form. On the right side, here, the properties panel contains two sections. The form properties where you can control the major aspects of the form, such as the form title and icon. Enable anonymous.
Submit Workflow and Mobile Settings CSS References and Editor Behavior and much more and the control properties contains the major properties of the selected control. On the top, Form Design ribbon contains, Designer tab, Control tab, Form Views tab, and Settings tab. After we have a look at the main parts of the Spark Forms Builder, let's start building the form. First, we are going to add a panel to add in it all the controls that we will use in the form. OK, let's drag and drop the panel. And we can modify the panel properties, like width, height, and position from the control style properties pane. Now I want to add a background image for the panel. It is a branding choice. You can leave the form without background or just add color background. Then we are going to add another panel in the middle. and modify the panel properties. You can use Spark Style Builder to change controls style without the need to write CSS code. We will describe how to use it in detail later on. Cool, now we are going to add a header and footer for this form. The header contains the logo and company name. So, let's drag and drop the image and customize it. Here, image URL, you can add the image link, or upload an image from your device to the SharePoint library. Then add vertical line control here. and let's drag and drop label control then modify the label properties like text color, text size ok now we are going to add a horizontal line control here we are done with the header Let's add the footer below. Again we are going to add a horizontal line, we can copy it from here or duplicate it as you like. Then drag and drop label control, and modify the label properties. Now we are going to add a label control for the form title. We can copy the formatting from here, or modify it. And add another label control for the notes. Add horizontal line control. Now from the list columns, we are going to add the columns that we want in our form. Let's drag and drop employee name. And modify the label and text box properties. As I mentioned before, you can use Spark Style Builder to change the control style and the manager. We copy the formatting and align the selected controls to left.
We are going to repeat the steps for Department Leave Type Reason for Leave Column and the leave date column. Okay, now we want to add the leave time column, but this column as we see does not exist in the list, so we need to create it first. We can create an or any new column within Spark Forms, without the need to go back to the list. Let's add the leave time column. From Settings ribbon, click on Create Column. Enter column name, and select column type. As we see there is no time only type here. So we are going to select a single line of text. And then we will customize it through the Spark form. Then click on OK. Modify the label properties. Now we are going to delete the text box control. And we will use time control. Let's drag and drop time control. And modify the time properties. and mapping with leave time column. Then make the time control required. Again we are going to add the return time column. Click on create column. Enter column name. We can copy the selected controls. and modify the label and time properties. Now based on the leave type, we are going to show or hide the return time, if the user selects, end of the day, we will set the return time as, 16 pm and hide the return time field. To do this first, let's add a new rule in the leave type column. Click on control rules. Edit rule name. Select rule type action. And select event on change. In condition text box. From functions, we search for function get radio button. OK from function wizard, select leave type control equal value end of day in the action text box again we search for function set value from function wizard select return time control and set time value then save now we will hide the return time Again we are going to add a new rule in the return time column. Edit rule name. Select rule type formatting. And select event on change. Again in condition text box we will use the same condition. Then select visible, no. Then save. We also want to hide the label. So we will copy the hide rule. and paste it on the rules label. After adding these rules, now the return time will show or hide based on what the user selects. OK now we are going to add the comments column, from the list columns. Let's drag and drop comments column. Now we can attach files to this form and view them, with the attachment control. Let's add the attachment control from the advanced controls. From here, the users can view the uploaded files, like images, Word, PDF, Excel, without the need to have a native viewer application installed on the user's machine. Also the users can remove the attachment file if they have the permissions. To add an attachment to the form we need a function to upload the files. In Spark Forms there is a special function for the attachment, 
this function is ready to use to upload attachments on the form, without the need to do anything else or to write any code. This feature is already built in in the ribbon that comes with any Spark form, and the users can upload files through it. We can enable or disable this feature, from the form properties. We can create a special add attachment button for our form. To do that, drag and drop the attachment button function from the toolbox. This is the default view for it, we can modify the style as you wish, manually or by using Spark Style Builder. Great! We can add the attachments from this button or from the top ribbon. And the files will appear in this box. Some forms need a signature to get approval. In this case, we can use the e-signature provided by Spark Forms, to get approval on electronic documents. It's secure and verifiable, it can replace a handwritten signature. Create an electronic signature control, by dragging and dropping it from the advanced controls in the toolbox. Modify the signature control properties. Mapping with Manager Signature Column. This column is multiple lines of text column plain text. It's important to mention that the electronic signatures are responsive and easy to enter on any device, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Okay, now we want to add some rules here. The only user that allows adding the signature is the manager, so we are going to make this control is disabled except for the manager. From the control panel, modify the control property to disabled and add a new rule. Edit rule name. Select rule type formatting. In condition text box, from functions, we search for function get people picker value. OK from function wizard select manager control and select property display text. Equal. Function get username. Then select disabled, no. After adding the rule, now the signature enable only for the manager. Now after we have finished adding the columns that we want in our form. We want to add submit button. In Spark Forms there is a special function for the submit form. This function is ready to use to save the form in a list or library, without the need to do anything else or to write any code. This function is already built in in the ribbon that comes with any Spark form, and the users can save the form through it. As we saw in the attachment function. And we can create a special submit button for our form. To do that, drag and drop the save form button function from the toolbox. If you want to make a custom style, but you don't know how to write the CSS code as I did before, you can use the style builder it generates the CSS code dynamically. Let's make a custom style for the submit button together. And that it's. The button is ready. Okay, as I mentioned before, Spark forms run on any device, desktops, mobile devices, or tablet without having to worry about compatibility, deployment, or application maintenance. The designer creates one form in desktop design and activates the mobile responsive property, from the form properties panel. To make the form responsive to all devices, Spark will handle everything without the need to make any configurations. You may need to change the mobile index property number, in order to sort the controls in the mobile view, in the way you feel it is more suitable for the users to view and interact. Also, we can use controls priorities, this tool provides you with a comprehensive image of your form's structure, in terms of controls and their priority hierarchy. This is very useful in certain cases where the HTML structure is required to be remanaged. In addition, you can hide some controls in the mobile view, by switching on hidden and mobile property. Great! We have finished designing the form. So we are going to publish it to be ready to use. Now let's return to our list. As I mentioned before, with Spark Forms there is no need to make any configuration, the form will be connected automatically to your list. Let's add a new request item from the new button. 
click on new. Great, here's our custom form has been opened, we can fill the data and save it. Let's enter the data quickly. Now, in the leave type, we have applied a role to show or hide the return time, as you see. Let's choose to end of the day. Upload the attachment by clicking on the Add Attachment. And here is the file that we had uploaded. From here you can delete it, or view it later after submitting the form. Now the electronic signature section is for administration use only, so Sarah cannot add her signature here. Only Sarah's manager, Jim, is allowed to add his signature. Jim can later, after submitting the request, can make his approval and sign it. We can also combine this form with a workflow that will send the request to Jim directly after the creation. If you want more details about how to create SharePoint workflow, approvals or lazy approval, you can see the tutorials videos listed in the description below. Let's submit the request now. And here the data have been stored in the list with modern form. This is how we create a custom form for a list in SharePoint with Spark forms. Follow us to learn more on how to set permissions to this list, and also how to integrate this form with a workflow, and much more. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and if you have a comment please write it down. Thank you.